Thank you for visiting NAPCO Video Tech Tips. My name is Tom. Today what we will be doing is I will be showing you how to register a GSM radio. First you will need to go up to www.napcocomnet.com and you will get this screen. You will click into login where it says click in. You have to register, you have to log in to your account with your ID number that you had registered prior. First thing you want to do is you want to go up to add device and then you want to go into service plans. Now you have old SLE, SL1 service plans, which is our original radios. We have SLE service plans, which are existing radios right now. And you can also register your IC video products and your iBridge and iRemote. We're going to be working with the SLE service plans. On your radio, there is a seven digit ID number. It's going to be either on the back of the radio on a sticker or it's going to be inside the cover when you pull off the cover. So you insert that number. And then you would click on go. You have different choices on different service plans depending upon what your needs are. I'm going to go with the basic service plan. and I would click for details and it gives you a little description up here of exactly what this service plan will do. So as you can see five signals per month, one panel upload download per month, weekly knock, check in supervision and meets these UL standards. I would go ahead and click add and then you would have to put the information your account information in. So you're going to click on new and you put your first name of the client in. This is where all your client information goes in. And then address. And then the email address. Phone number. And then fax if you have one. Then you will click on add subscriber. Now important that you go down, you scroll down after you put that information in, you scroll down and you go to add to cart. If you wanted to put additional notes and use a field one and use a field two, that's just for your reference. And then you would click add to cart. Now we'll come up with your shopping cart. It's going to tell you your service pack that you selected, your charge, and you need to click on checkout. And then you get an auto confirmation number. And that's pretty much it.